Hi guys, it's Selena here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanted to do something fall inspired. I was feeling very inspired and I decided to use the Rose Gold Sunset Palette by e.l.f. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this palette. This palette is so old, like the palettes that they're selling now don't even come in this packaging anymore. But my sister got me this palette years ago, <laughs> years. This is the first eyeshadow palette that I ever owned, given to me by my sister, and I just can't let it go. And I understand people say, makeup expires. You shouldn't be putting that on your face. Well, I am. <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to when it comes to old makeup, but I just can't seem to get rid of this. This has nostalgia for me. And not only that, but the palette isn't really sold like this anymore. Like I said, it got new packaging and I don't know for sure if it got new formulation, but I think it did because the colors that are in the Rose Gold Sunset Palette now don't look like this anymore. When I see this in store, the, the colors are more muted and washed out looking. But anyway, today I'm going to be using this palette for to come up with like an autumn inspired sunset look since this is the sunset palette and i might go in with my elf highlighter this is another product that they don't sell anymore um not even as a recreation this was the very first highlighter that i ever owned yes i am using old makeup today <laughs> this is the first uh highlighter that i ever owned i bought it for myself this was back in the day when elf was between one and five dollars. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all remember those days when e.l.f. was between one and five dollars? <laughs> I kind of miss those days. But this is the Moonlight Pearls highlighter from e.l.f. Um, one of my favorite highlighters. It's one of my go-tos. And if I'm feeling like blush, I'll do like a little dab of the ColourPop blush in the shade Toffee Cake. Um, and I have some lip combo a, a lip combo here that i want to do just a brown lip pencil with some gloss that we're going to top it off with and let's get started okay so i think i'm going to start with mm, one of the browns um i'm just using a color pop brush i bought the whole pack that came in like the little rolly package and this is the e17 brush i'm not really big on brush numbers and things like that as long as the brush works and applies it to my eyes then i'm fine with it but i'm going to go in with this brown shade here and just put it all over my eyelid and these colors don't have names or numbers so <laughs> that brown shade there <laughs> and you can see it still has a lot of pigment even after all of these years. I wish I remembered what year my sister got me this, but I don't. I'm going to just focus it in my crease, but still put it all over because it's literally my exact same skin color. You can tell the difference. Like this eyelid looks a little bit darker now, but Okay, we got the base down. I'll rub it. I have a paper towel down, y'all can't see, but I'm just rubbing some of that brown off. Okay, and then we're gonna take the darker brown, <laughs> this one here, the darkest shade in the palette, and I'm going to use the same brush and focus that on the outside of my eye, but not like drag it all the way up my face. So we're just kind of going to pack it here on the outside. And I have to like close my eye because since my eyes are deep set, when I open, they can, the color can get lost up in there. And if I keep my eyes open while I'm applying, when I go to close my eye, it'll be empty space up there. And I've done it before. You can actually see it in one of my videos, the glitter grunge. Like when I close my eyes at the end, there's nothing applied up there. So if you have deep set eyes like me, make sure you're getting all of the skin. So you gotta close your eye <laughs> and make sure you get the color up in there. 
yeah. So we're gonna keep it a bit smoky on the outer. So maybe this is more like a smoky sunset. I don't know, I didn't have a plan when I decided to use this palette today. And we're gonna blend, so <laughs> no worries. We're gonna blend. Okay, so we have the dark shadow on. Kind of rub that on my paper towel a bit. Get some of the darkness out. Now I'll just choose another brush because I don't be knowing. So we'll go with this smaller one. And this is just a simple brush that I got from like Walmart or something. Which color should I do? I think I'll go for the for the red. We're gonna go for the red and see what that looks like. What if it shows up brown? I'll be kind of sad. That didn't have like hardly any kick up at all in the pan. Even when I go like that, oh, you see some of it coming off. Anyway, so I'm going to apply that right next to the dark brown. That's actually kind of pretty. Y'all see that? That's nice. Apply that next to and a little bit on top of so it can blend. Be sure to get all the skin. That's pretty. Okay, we'll do the other eye. Okay, so we have the brown and the red. Hmm. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the orange right next to it. Let's see if it apply any better with my finger, like maybe it'd be more vibrant in color. That's what it looks like on my finger, that coppery orange color. Let's see, I'm gonna apply it next to the red. Wow. I like that, that's so pretty. Next side. I'm liking it already. I'm liking it already. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not gonna go back in with that brush. Um, I'm just going to do the gold that's right next to the copper. This one right here, should I do that one or that one? I think I'm gonna go with that one, the one that's right next to it. So let me clean my fingers off. I have a wipe somewhere. I just use baby wipes when I'm doing my makeup to clean my area, clean my hands or anything like that. My clothes if I'm messy. <laughs> and yes, okay, so we're going in with the gold that's right next to it. And it looks like that. And go right in the inner corner. Wow, okay, other side. And you see I didn't get way up in there because my finger doesn't fit, but I'll fix that. I 
I, <laughs> I really like this. I like this a lot. Okay. And I'm going to go in with a little tiny brush. This is also an e.l.f. brush. This is called their Small Precision Brush. This is came in a set that my mother got me for Christmas. And I think I'm just going to go in with the lightest shade now. The lightest shade. And we're going to dab that in the inner corner. To make it all tie together. Okay. Wonderful. And now I'm going to go back because it does seem like I've lost some of the orange and the red. So I'm just going to go in with a different brush. This is like, I don't know, a flat brush. Again, it came in the same set that I got from um, Walmart. Because I'm I'm not big on like super fancy brushes or even expensive makeup, honestly. So we're going to put some of that red back. Make sure we see it. Okay. And then take the other side, because I did it only on one side, take the other side and do the same thing with the orange. There we go. Okay. And then put the orange back on the other side as well. Okay, I'll rub that off a little bit. Go back to that first smaller fluffy brush that I had. And we're gonna go back, well, I'm gonna go back in this brown here and try and like clean that up, blend it out a bit. You know, I'm going through my crease, blending it out underneath my brow bone. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to try and pull it a little bit under my eye there. I'm going to mix um, the browns and red here to see what I come up with. Okay, just a little bit. <clears throat> Not anything too drastic, but enough to tie the bottom and lower together. And then to clean that up a bit, go in with my little squishy powder puff. Okay, Ooh, I like it. Should I bring some of the glitter down there? I'm not sure. Like, I don't want to do it and then like jack it all up. You know what I mean? Let's see, let's see. Just a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, and the color I used was the gold that's next to the coppery orange for that. So, I'm going to go in, that's all for the palette for right now. I'm going to go in with a dark brown liner. This is the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner, long name. And you can just twirl it up like that or down. And I don't even know how long I've had this either. Um, it was one of the first eyeliners that I ever bought. But I want to go in and kind of tight line a little bit. You see the difference? How that's just a little bit darker than that? That's how I want it. But I'm not going to go all the way to the inner where the bright gold is. I always start to struggle because my eyes water and when your eyes are wet, it doesn't actually <laughs> do what you needed to do. Okay, and then I'm also going to go over the top as well. Like almost as if I'm like getting down in my lashes. Okay, and I pulled it out as if I did like the tiniest little wing and tried to connect it at the bottom. I don't want anything dramatic. Okay. Okay, so that's what we're working with right now. Put the lid back on. And now we're gonna go for mascara. Mascara, mascara. So I use between like either one or two eyeshadow prim eyelash primers. And the two that I have is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Base from L'Oreal or the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Tinted Primer. These names, y'all, <laughs> are a bit much. But I'm going to go for the L'Oreal Primer first and then top it off with the Bambi Oversized Eye. And I haven't seen this in store. Hold on, phone ringing. Okay, that was my sister. <laughs> the one who gave me this. So what was I, what was I saying? I'm gonna go in with the lash primer, top it off with this. I haven't been able to find this anymore, so maybe they're not selling it, but that's what I'm using. And this is actually a white primer. I believe they have a black one, but at the time at the, when I bought this, it was only this one. It looks funny. And I'm just going to go in right on top. There we go. And now for the bottom lash. So that's the difference with mascara and no mascara. So now I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so this is what it's looking like 
now i'm really liking it make sure it's still you know blended nicely okay now just for a little touch of blush just a little bit because i don't I don't, I don't want a lot like a barely there pop of color see a little bit on the nose okay and then make sure that's blended in nicely and I don't know I like it matte like this do I want some maybe I'll just put a little bit on my nose because I always put some on my nose just a little okay because I don't really want it on my cheeks I'm liking the matte look because it's autumn take the lip gloss off <laughs> that I have so I can actually line my lips. And I should probably set my face. And this is just the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. Okay, so while that's finishing setting into my face, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Control. And it's just spelled C-T-R-L <laughs> for control. I'm just going to line my lips. Okay, and then I'm just going to top that off with a gloss or a lip oil. This is the ColourPop lip oil in the shade Hot Shot. All the words and then rubbed off. I actually prefer ColourPop's lip oils because they act like a lip gloss. They're long lasting, they're super shiny, and they're not sticky. Whereas I feel like their glosses are way too thick for my liking. They're heavy, they're sticky. When the wind blow, the debris in the air be getting stuck to my lips. I don't like that. I prefer their lip oils. So that's what I'm going to top this off with. Like, look how shiny that is. This is basically a gloss. And I'm going to finish up the last bits of my hair and then I'll come back to y'all. Okay, so this is the final look. <clears throat> Went ahead and finished my hair. And once again, my little pieces are uneven. I don't even know how I'll be doing that, but this is the final look. These are the sunset eyes. I hope you guys like it. I really like this. <laughs> As I say about all of my looks, I end up liking what I create. I love like the fade into the deeper colors on the side. I like that it's not super dramatic. It's a nice pop of color for the autumn. This is giving fall foliage, like when everything turns red and orange and yellow and brown when it's at its final, you know, lifespan. I like it. And of course, if you wanna do more dramatic lashes, go ahead and put them on. If you want pop of highlighter on your cheeks, go ahead and put that on. But this is the way I like it. And this is the perfect look for fall, y'all. So once again, this is the Rose Gold Sunset Palette from um, e.l.f. I mean, you might still be able to recreate it with the new version that's out, but this is the old version. Anyway, 
thanks for watching. I hope you guys love it. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.